So it's July 17th, 2023, somewhere near Denver, Colorado. We're three warm and soon to be very hot backpackers and here we go. The first seven miles of this trail is on the old roadbed of the Denver, South Park, and Pacific Railroad, built in 1877. And the sun's on my back, it's hot. It's supposed to be 97 degrees here today. I've never started the through hike with as little confidence in my ability to finish it as this one. There's gonna be no lack of challenges and obstacles to finishing this trail. So that's Luke and Liz behind me, of course. You know from my through hike, maybe, of the Appalachian Trail. And I officiated their wedding at the top of Mountain Katahdin when we finished hiking that trail. Luke's gonna be with us for a week till we get to Breckenridge. And then Liz and I will continue on until when and if I drop out. And then after that point, Liz will have to finish on her own. So we're walking along the South Platte River and this point here is the beginning of the High Line Canal. There's a diversion dam here. The High Line Canal is, I don't know, I think it's about 130 years old and it goes for 66 miles through all of Metro Denver. The High Line Canal is used both for recreation and irrigation, but mostly just for recreation. It goes all the way out towards the airport. We're about mile 6.4. Behind me, Strontia Springs Dam. It was built, 1983 it was finished, which was about two years after I hiked, backpacked in uh, Colorado for the first time. That's 243 feet tall. Behind it, there's a lake called the Strontia Springs uh, Reservoir, which is about 1.7 miles long. The reservoir is the smallest of Denver Water's 10 reservoirs, and yet, supplies about 80% of Denver's drinking water. This is where we head off into the woods, finally. I thought it was funny that like all day, you've been like canals and rivers and dams and Luke's been like lizards and rams <laughs> and I've been like flowers 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 like we all have our different things we're interested in i saw a few lizards and we saw the ram which was fun it's been a good day of course i brought a map along for illustration purposes not for navigation here's colorado down here shows the trail from denver to durango the direction that we're going a bigger version, Denver to Durango. We're gonna take the Collegiate West, which is the west way around this part of the trail. You can go east or west. And we're still right here by this number one. I'm sure I'll be pulling this map out again from time to time. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. It's not Maybe someone will bring ice cream. Maybe you'll have a vault toilet too. Yes. <laughs> toilet will be bad. Well, we're here set up along the South Platte River, pretty much the same river where we started. Let me show you the setup. Luke and Liz are over here. We didn't have a whole lot of choices about where to camp if we wanted to camp along the river, but this is a nice spot. I'm set up here, half an A-frame in case it rains, which I don't think it will. I can flip that over. Shirt there belongs to Nolan, who is hiking with us today. And I got my backpack set up because there are a lot of ants there on the ground. I think that about does it for the night, right? Yep. Until tomorrow. Yeah. 
The sun's coming up. Pretty soon I'll be getting out my umbrella. I hiked most of the day yesterday with my umbrella open for shade, plus a lot of sunscreen. And I came out of it without getting sunburned, so that's good. Most of the hiking today goes through this burned area. There was a fire in 1996, that long ago, called the Buffalo Creek Fire, which burned 12,000 acres around here. And it's just amazing to me that, you know, I don't know, 25 years later, something like that, the area still hasn't really bounced back. Some cloud cover has helped with the sun and the heat. It's rained a little bit, but there's not a lot of moisture up in these clouds. It still isn't monsoon season yet, even though it should be. So if it does start raining, it won't last for long. Even if it were to rain hard, like it's starting to do later in this trip, I think that's something I could handle. Challenges and limitations, I think some of them are self-imposed. I wonder if confidence wanes. Confidence in yourself wanes as you get older. I motivated myself in the past few weeks by watching some of my old videos, 2019, backpacking solo through New Hampshire and the Whites, wondering, who is this guy? He seems to know something about backpacking. He seems to be in good shape. So yeah, I'd like to be like that guy. I'd like to do it again. I met the place where we agreed to stop for the day uh, near a little stream and I'm here first. I'm gonna take a look around and see if there's some place where we can set up. All right, a while later, here's the creek and I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm set up over there in some trees. I just had to move some pine cones and I'll do this once, I'll go through my my gear, that high tarp, square tarp, eight and a half foot square tarp by Hyperlite is not functional right now. It's just set up. In the event there would be some rain, I could stick it out, flip this part over and stake out both sides to be an A-frame. I don't think it's gonna rain though. And that is a Bug Vivi by Mount Laurel Designs. And there's a ground cloth underneath it and the floor of the Bug Vivi and then Thermarest torso length pad, a sleeping bag and some clothes and a stuff sack for a pillow. The surroundings are very nice. I feel like I'm a little bit in the woods. Well, I guess I'm a lot in the woods, but I'm not on the trail. And the last thing to point out is the food bag, which is gonna get hung up on a tree a little bit later. Since yesterday. 